Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video today. We're gonna take a look at this brand new Fire and Ice pack with Zombie and El Toro Loco by Spin Master. Well, welcome back everyone. I just did my review on the brand new Megalodon Fire and Dragon Ice. These were the first pack I reviewed of the Fire and Ice packs, uh, double packs by Spin Master. My stores hopefully will receive the rest of them soon. I'm not sure when the other couple of sets are coming out, but uh, I know that these ones are currently the only ones that have been found by the public. So we have the Zombie and El Torolico now ready for review. Here's the back of the box. I briefly showed it in my previous video, but you can see we have Wildfire and Yeti. I cannot wait for these two particularly because these are very cool looking. I cannot wait for that one specifically, but Wildfire also looks very good. Nice new logo as well with Yeti. And today we're going to actually look at the Zombie and El Toro Loco. Of course, these are only at Walmart, so these are exclusive to Walmart. Again, you will not be able to find them anywhere besides that store. So here we go. We're going to take a look at these two up close. So here they are. This one rolled down before I could get the camera rolling, but here is El Toro Loco and Zombie. As you can see here, it says uh, limited or special edition Zombie and El Toro Loco. Of course, it has the specialized Fire Nice packaging. So you got the orange and the blue. And here are the trucks. So we've got Zombie here. I'll start with Zombie. Uh, so we got the nice Paul Strong Zombie uh, truck. Pretty much exactly how the real truck looks. So here's the side panel with that slanted Zombie look. I've always loved it since we saw it at the kickoff show. It does have a very nice matte clear coat. And you can see the uh, black clothing. It is 3D clothing. The uh, hair is also blacked out. Got the fire logo. And the back does have the MonsterJam.com logo. It does have the 3D clothes again right there. Uh, and the zombie logo, of course, the other side, same thing. And you got these nice functional arms, of course, on every zombie, they all have arms. So very cool that they continue to do that. And it also does have the accurate style paint of the arms. So you got the red faded into yellow on the arms itself. And they do move up and down. And you can see the hair, there's the brain, you got like a glowing lava brain with yellow and orange and a red skull. And here's the uh, face here, You've got the yellow teeth, the red mouth on the inside, the red uh, jaw, and then of course the eyes are pretty much just fire on both, and then the nose right there. And it does have a red windshield, and of course these translucent orange tires with yellow treads, red chassis, and yellow roll cage. And comparing it to the normal zombie, you got the um, pretty much just zombie, that's, that's all. So you can see it's just everything, just fire edition. Just like the real truck, everything else is pretty much the same, just in fire. So pretty cool. And this one I wanted to mention does have a red ear. The original version of this with blue rims had a clear ear. They also fixed it on this edition with the gray ear right there. So very cool to see that. And of course these do have moving arms. These arms feel like they have been modified to be a little less uh, loose. So they are tighter now. They don't go down as fast as the old ones. So they don't fall down by themselves. The playset edition with blue rims did tend to fall down without even touching it. So that's very cool that they actually added this um, to be a little better to stay in position rather than having to pick them up every single time you want them to be up. So very cool. So that's the zombie right there, fire edition. And of course the El Toro Loco Ice. One of my favorite trucks on the current tour. I think this looks amazing in real life and I'm very happy with how they made it in Spin Master. So here's the normal El Toro Loco and I'll compare it in just a second after we look at this one. So you can see here, you got the icicles on the uh, side panel and going along the side here to the blue El Toro Loco logo, the Monster Jam Ice, you got the teeth in blue and white, just like the real truck. And uh, there is no chin hair on here. I think there is on the real truck, but I could be wrong. It might be just a really fine detail. I think it's okay without it. It looks pretty good. And you got the uh, kind of ice looking fire on the uh, coming out of the nostrils. And of course the blue uh, little ring here. And here's the other side of the same uh, design. And here's the tailgate, a big monsterjam.com logo, um, way bigger than the uh, orange ultra logos. I'm not sure. Uh, why it's so big. It's actually really big on the back, but that might be how the real truck looks with the big logo. Uh, I think this one looks a little better, just a little size down. It's a little less pronounced, just like the zombie was. So you can see it's a little smaller, but um, anyway, that's how they did it. So there's the monsterjam.com logo, the ultra loco logo with the icicles. And of course it has this uh, nice transparent blue uh, tire with the snow treads, the dark blue rim, dark blue chassis and white roll cage. And the horns are the actual gradient. So it does fade from blue to white. And you can see it uh, from the real truck, it fades from yellow to orange. So they did keep that detail, of course, of the real truck as well on the toy edition. And you can see it has a blue windshield and the front. The only part about this truck that I do want to say a little minor detail 
is that the real truck has eyebrows that are icicles or pieces of ice. And this truck does not have that detail on here. It actually has like a, a, a hair detail. So I would have preferred them to do the uh, eyebrows in the ice form that the real truck has. But I think it's a great representation of the real truck. So no co real complaints on that besides that minor detail. Um, but regardless, this thing is amazing. Zombie is definitely my favorite out of this pack, however. The arms, the detail of the gradient on the arms, and of course, just this entire piece right here is 100% accurate to the real truck. So I'm very happy with this. Ultra Loco, very good as well. No real complaint besides the eyebrow uh, decal, but I don't think anyone's really going to care about that. Um, that's a really minor detail that only I would really catch. But uh, I think everything here is great. I cannot wait to see the next set of Fire and Ice trucks with the Max D, Monster Met Dalmatian, Yeti, and Wildfire. And of course, I cannot wait to find the singles in stores hopefully soon. So you guys can check your local Walmarts. Hopefully, you guys will find them in the coming days or weeks. And uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. And um, that's it. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Surrender Monster Jam OCD, signing out.